Hello everyone and welcome to Sound Codex. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create your own abstraction for a tap tempo system that you can use to set the main tempo of your sequencer or drum machine or to simply set the delay time of a tap delay. That being said, let's play the intro. So we can start by creating a bank, we can change its color to make it more visible and change its size. Now we send it to an integer that increases by one each time it receives a bank. Then we want to count from zero to three. So we want to have four banks. We want to count four banks. We select zero, one, two, and three. To visualize its uh, bank position, we can apply an horizontal radio. Here we have it. We can change its size. So number cells four. And it can receive the output of mod 4. OK. To measure the actual duration, the time interval between each bank, I'm going to use timer. It has two inputs, the leftmost reset the timer, while the rightmost with a bank can output the elapsed time. We can first reset our timer. When we send a bank through this inlet, we reset the timer and we start it. So after the timer has been reset for its first time, we want to use a trigger bang bang for the cell one. We want to first measure the elapsed time and then we want to reset the timer once again. We copy and paste the trigger, same process for the cell 2. So the first output is going to measure the actual uh, time interval. The second one is going to reset our timer. And same thing for our last bank. From this point we can apply a number box um, out of the timer and we can visualize our durations. Great, now from this point we can use a list with keyword store so it will store the incoming value. Here it is the help file. So when we send a bang to its first inlet, it will output the actual list with all the numbers uh, stored. And if you send a bang to its rightmost inlet, it will clear the list. So each time we output a new number, we send it to uh, a message with append $1, it will take the incoming value and send it to the very last position of the list. We can send it here. And from this point, we need to modify this last trigger node. We can disconnect these links, we can add a third bang, and the order is the following. So. When we send our last bang, we want first to measure the last time duration. Then we want to uh, bang the list so it will output the measured values. And with our last bang, we want to clear the list. Now we are ready to unpack the list with float, float, float. The list will contain just three numbers because the first bang will only reset our timer. Now we can add number boxes to visualize 
each time duration. And we can use an expression uh, node where we say $f1 plus $f2 plus $f3 divided by 3. The first number box goes here, the second one here, and the last one here in this last inlet. Now we can test our system. So one, two, three, four. And here we can visualize the three numbers that our system measured and the following average value. Now we have an issue to fix. That is, what if we trigger the stop tempo only twice or three times or just once? Now, the system is still counting the time. So if I finish to tap my system, here we see that this plus indicates that the number is too big to be contained here. So we can increase the size of the number box. And here we see the elapsed time. That is not accurate. To solve this issue, we could of course restart our system. So one, two, three, four, and it will reset automatically since the first bank reset the timer. But to be sure that everything will work fine, especially if we are in a live performance, we can use a bank. Nope. Come on. A bank with a trigger zero bank. So the first bank is going to clear our list. The second one is going to set a zero to the integer. Now the timer is counting. We reset it. The, the list is now clear. And inside here we have zero. When I'll press the button will not move forward, but it will restart from its previous position. And here we have our tap tempo system. That was all for today's tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if so, I really invite you to give a like and subscribe to support the channel. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.